Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you're using Linux, you've had to use a terminal before. I mean, if you haven't, that's pretty impressive. And having a good looking, snappy, and functional terminal is essential to having a good Linux system. So if you're like me, you're probably using the default or stock Linux terminal. So in KDE, that would be console. In GNOME, it's the GNOME terminal. And you probably want to look into a replacement for your terminal. So now in this video, I'm going to be installing Tilix, which is a very good terminal. It was recently renamed from Terminix and has a ton of features and never has it disappointed me. So I'm going to be showing you some of the best features of Tilix and how to install it on your Linux system. Oh, let's start. So let's start off by installing Tilix. So to do it, open up a web browser and then in the search bar, type Tilix terminal. Now you want to click the link that says GNUNN1, the GitHub link, and it should be titled Tilix, a tilling terminal emulator. So click that, then click download at the top. It should be the last item in the menu. Now here you can see that there are tons of different ways and distributions that are supported, ranging from Arch Linux to Ubuntu to manual installing it if you're not one of those distributions. But I am running Arch Linux, so I'm going to click on that and install it using the Arch user repository. Now, if you get this and you're running Arch Linux, go back to the AUR homepage and just look up Tilix in the package search. And the reason this thing happens is because it got renamed and AUR cannot find it. So typing Tilix should work and you should get this Arch user repository page right here. So now from here, you can open up your terminal. And for this, I'm going to be using Yaward, which is a package installer. And if you can install it using the tarballs if you want to, but I'm using Yaward in this video. So just do Yaward Tilix. I'm just going to be using the first option. Works fine. Enter Y, and it should install. If you are running a Fedora-based system, you want to run this command right here, sudo dnf copper enable hikawada slash terminix. Type that in, and it should enable this repository. And the reason it's not Tilix is because the name hasn't fully changed on the copper repository, but that's fine. Now next you want to run sudo dnf install terminix. And just type y, y again. and it should be installed. Let's just check. Yep, there it is. Now, if you're running an Ubuntu-based system, you want to run sudo apt add repository web up d8 team slash terminix. Enter your root password. And it should add the terminix repository. Then run sudo apt get update to refresh the software sources. Then finally, run sudo apt install terminix. Enter Y, and it should install. And here it is. If you check the application launcher, you should have Tilix. Great. And of course, if your distribution was not one of the ones I showed in the video, you can just run these two commands and it should install Tilix for you. Okay, great. So now that Tilix has been installed, let me show you some of the coolest features of this terminal emulator. So, first let me just add it to my favorites bar so that I can access it later if I ever want to. And here we have it. So let's open up Tilix. Now, it might say that there has been a configuration issue. You can just ignore that, but if you want to fix it, you click on this link right here and follow the instructions. But 
So far as I've used it, it doesn't make a big difference. So you can close out of this. And here is Tilix. Okay, now starting off with the most basic, but still very handy feature, is the ability to create multiple windows in this one big Tilix window. So to do that, you can either click this button right here, which will add a terminal down here, or this one, which will add one on the side. So let me just show you how that works. As you can see, it has created more, more windows, and you can actually drag these around to position them how you want, want it. Now on top of that, you can also drag them outside of the Terminix, sorry, Tilix window over here, and it will create another session or window out here. And you can drag these into those as well and just mess around with that. And if you want to synchronize the typing between all these different terminals, what you can do is click on three dots over here and click synchronize input. And as you can see, these little buttons have appeared here. They turn blue, meaning that the input between these will be synchronized. So whatever I type here will also appear up here and then similarly the other way also. And if you want to create another window here, you can also toggle the synchronization here. So I can have that here. If I want to turn that off, just turn that off. But these two will still be synchronized. So next up on the list of awesome features is the ability to save this layout right here onto your hard disk and then later load that up and have it exactly as is. So let me show you that. So let me just open up a few more windows like that. And then now what I can do is click this three dots here, click save, and then just name a file. So let me just call that good config and save that to a JSON file. And now if I close out of Tilix and open it back up, I can actually click these three dots again, click open, and then load that JSON file. <laughs> God, okay. Open it back up and everything is back here. Okay, so now the next few features are going to be about the actual customization of the terminal. So what Tilix allows is to have multiple profiles here. So if you click on your act, the name of your session over here and click profiles, click edit profile, you will have this window over here in which you can actually add another profile here and save them. And in the profiles, you can set things like a font, commands, settings like running it as a login, shell, color settings, scrolling, compatibility, and other advanced settings. So if you have multiple settings here, you can save them here. And then once you're actually back in the terminal, you can set it to have apply that profile. And you can also set it so that this one will be the default profile. And if you saw earlier, there was actually a color section in the profiles settings. So here you can pick a color scheme. Now let me show you how to download some pre-built color schemes. So if you go here and just type Tilix themes or Tilix terminal themes and click on the storm 119 GitHub link, you will have lots of different themes on which you can choose from. So there are, it's actually split into two different folders. One is themes and it's sorted alphabetically. So these are these ones. And then if you go to Tilix themes two, you have the rest of them. So now you can just click on one of them. So let me use tomorrow night 80s and click raw and then right click save as and then just save it somewhere in a folder. So let me just create another one Tilix themes and save it there. Just save that and close out of this. Now you can actually go to your files and go and enable show hidden files. So once you've enabled that, click on dot config. And if you don't already have a Tilix folder, you want to create that. So just do new folder, Tilix. And then inside Tilix, you want to create another new folder called schemes. And now here is where you want to put that JSON file that you recently downloaded. So I'm just going to copy this and put it into schemes. Once you have that, 
you can actually click on that profile, go to the settings, and select your recently downloaded scheme. And you can see that it changed a little bit, and these colors actually also changed. So let me just show you a comparison between this one and the previous one. Color here. You can see that the colors do change, and there are tons of themes available. Let's go back here. There are lots of them, so you can uh, customize to your liking. So on top of that, you also have the ability to set transparency for the window and set custom background. So to do that, click go to profiles again, click on color, and here you have a transparency toggle here. So slide that all the way, it's fully transparent, that's pretty weird. And you can just do it like a little bit. That look gives it a really cool look. And now if you're not satisfied with your current scheme, you can change it to a different color like so, and it'll actually change that color on the terminal. And that's, ju that's just if you don't like the ones that are built in the theme. Okay, so now the final feature I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is Quake Mode. So what Quake Mode is, is essentially the ability to toggle the terminal and let it come down from the top here. So suppose you're working on something over here, and then you want your terminal. You can just basically enter a keyboard command and it will drop down. You can quickly do your terminal thing and go back to whatever you're doing over here. So now to set this, open up settings. I'm on GNOME right now, so I'm gonna open up the GNOME keyboard settings, and click on create a new shortcut. And this will depend on your distribution and desktop environment, but just get to this. and on the name, you can set whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do that Quake mode, Quake for Tilix. For the com command, you want to use Tilix dash dash Quake. And for the shortcut, you can set whatever you want. So let me just set that to Alt T or something and click Add. So now, if I hit Alt T, you can see that Tilix has dropped down from the top and you can just use it as is. So let's just do something here and it works. And now if you want to get out of it, you can just hit Alt T again and it will go away. So that's really handy and it will definitely increase your productivity. Okay everyone, that's going to be it for this video. I highly recommend installing Tilix on your Linux computer, as it will definitely increase your productivity and efficiency, and it also just looks great, it's very customizable, and is quick and snappy. So make sure to install it, and the good thing about this terminal emulator, which I haven't mentioned before, is that it's constantly getting new updates, so there's always something to look forward to. Okay. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Linux videos. And as always, thanks for watching.